Hey, have you ever gone to the end of the day and look back and said to yourself, holy crap, what did I do today? Then you get all upset that you didn't accomplish what you set out to do. Has it ever happened to you? Don't worry. You are in the majority bracket, not the minority bracket. Doesn't that feel great? But wait a minute here. That can't be you because you, my friend, are a high performer, right? But here's the reality. The truth is, every one of us gets bogged down. We get bogged down in the daily details, the distractions, and the minutia of life. What my wish for you is that you recognize that you have veered off your schedule and have the discipline and awareness to reset, get back on track. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Motivational Moments with Maria. I'm Crazy Coach Maria and thrilled to be here with you. It's almost the middle of January 2021. Okay, we're almost to the middle of the month. Two weeks ago, you made all of these promises to yourself. A mere 12 days ago. Are you sticking to it or have you given up on your resolutions? I know you're a high performer. You're on it, baby. Now you're still, you're fired up and you're ready to accomplish those projects you set up. You set up that exercise program. But wait, have you really started? I explained last week. We need to come out strong with the wind at our back. So I'm gonna be harping on you forever and ever and ever. I want the wind at your back, it feels so great. It's easy when the wind is at your back isn't then you're not fighting it. So what happens to us is many of us go into overwhelm when you start letting your brain think of all the things you have to do or you need to get done. And we do have some enemies we do have some enemies. So let's identify the enemies of getting things done now. The first enemy is what? Procrastination. We all do it, we procrastinate. Don't think it doesn't relate to you because it hits all of us. It hits all of us. And I don't mean to be morbid, but I'm gonna ask you this question. What would you do if you found out you only had six months left to live? What would you get done? Who would you spend your time with? What legacy do you want to leave? And the reason I'm saying that is because I want to ask you this question. It's an important one. What's on your forever to-do list that you would just throw away? What is on your to-do list that you would just throw away? Honestly, don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today so we can build your tomorrow. The next enemy is the not yet. I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm waiting for the stars to align. I'm waiting for the new bike to arrive or I'm waiting for my assistant to come back to work. My friends, this is your now moment. It's time to carpe diem. In other words, seize the day. And finally, the last enemy I will share with you this week is the perfection enemy. Oh, it has to be perfect before I release it, or it has to be perfect before I put it out into the universe. I am just waiting to get it right. Is that you? Author Norman Vincent Peale says, if you put off everything till you're sure of it, you'll never get anything done. Know this, and I've said it many times, the best gift that you can give yourself is to be perfectly imperfect. So these three enemies that I brought up today, do any of these enemies creep into your life at times and prevent you from moving forward? Good, that's good. So now that we know what the most common enemies are, how are we going to combat them and squish them so you can work on your tomorrow? So the first thing I wanna talk with you about is to simplify your day by eliminating the laundry list of the things to do list. We use the excuse, oh, we have so much to do. Can you see it? Look at my list, look at this list. I say, throw it away. What are the consequences of throwing it away? 
what really are the consequences of throwing that long to-do list that you know you're never going to get to away? Absolutely nothing. Zilch. Nothing. So take that list of to-dos and throw it away. Yes, we're going to simplify. Now, I read this in a book the other day, and it really resonated with me. It goes like this. Do not put unwanted ingredients in your pie. Oh my gosh, it's so true. What a great analogy. Do not put unwanted ingredients in your pie. A cluttered recipe can destroy the pie. So only put the ingredients in that really matter. And that holds true for your day as well. Because if you're if you are surrounded by unfinished work, unanswered letters, incomplete projects, unpaid bills, unattended to tasks, and on and on, they negatively affect your life experience. They're staring at you and you feel bad. So let's clear the color, let's clear the clutter and simplify your life. I'm going to put up a number. The number is three. Three. It's a powerful number. It is a sacred number. The number three. It is the first number to which the meaning all was given. The power of three is universal. Think about it for a moment. Heaven, earth, and waters. It is human as body, soul, and spirit. The Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I could go on and on and on. So all I want you to do is write down the three vitally important things that you need to do today. That's it. No more. Stop writing. You only get three. The three important things you need to do today. Okay. Now that you're doing them, what I want you to do is I want you to rate them one, two, or three. So you must work on your vital priority number one until you are finished. If it's going to take you three hours, then block out three hours. If it's going to take three 30-minute blocks, then schedule out three 30-minute blocks. Well, wait a minute. That three keeps showing up. Now you have completed the most vital task in your day. See how easy that was? See how easy it was? You worked on the first one. You worked on the first one. You worked on the first one. Now you're done with it. You can put it on the shelf and you're free to go on to your vital priority number two until it is completed. When that is done, you go on to vital priority number three. Whew, what a productive day. What a productive day. You are patting yourself on the back, my friends. But wait, I don't want you to celebrate too soon. I don't want you to celebrate too soon because guess what we're going to do? It's not over. No, it's not over. I want you to take some time and do the same process for tomorrow. Write down the most important tasks that you have to do tomorrow. And run through the same process, prioritize them. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. When you start your tomorrow, again, you begin with your number one priority and work through until your number one priority is done. Wasn't that simple? Isn't it simple? When you simplify, your list is small, your head is clear of the clutter, and you get more stuff done. And no one has to tell you what the priority is. You determine the priority. You determine the importance of each task. And my challenge to you this week is that you test it out. You test it out this week. Give it a try. Make it a daily habit for the next week. Now, this one idea, a simple idea, one, two, three, shared, this, this, this one business idea was shared by management consultant Ivy Lee. 
And it totally revolutionized the Bethlehem Steel Company and made it larger and more profitable than any other industry giants at the time. So keep it simple. Plan tomorrow's priorities today, then have the stick to and commitment to your plan. One, two, three. Attack these priorities in order of importance. I guarantee that following this simple recipe, this simple recipe is as good as a yummy, 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 yummy home-baked recipe followed pie. No added or unnecessary ingredients. No list of things to do. Hey, my friends, I know that was so simple that you're going to do it. Say yes. Yes. Good. And if you want to see my crazy face talking to you about this, you know that you can go to my YouTube channel, Coaching with Maria. I'd love to hear some comments, suggestions. Drop me a line, Coaching with Maria. Message me on Facebook. I want to hear from you. So until next time, my friends, you know what I'm going to say to stay focused, stay positive, and always have fun. And no matter what you choose to be, do, or have, have the courage to keep it simple and work on your tomorrow today. <laughs>